hello friends so today i'm going to teach you about how to install groovy how to install grails and this is all for windows and we will also install open jdk then we are going to see how we will configure our environment variables we will then create a basic project and try to run that com program we will also try to run the same project by command and we will also try to change the port of that project in which it runs by default so let's begin without wasting any time so friends first of all head towards your browser and write this download groovy sdk latest and you are going to see this many results but you are going to click on this first one so why i am saying you to search in case if you are watching this video uh, after the time when it was uploaded so there is a possibility there might be some latest version that has been you know released so this way you can make sure that you always get the latest and besides that i will also attach all the links in the description so click on the first link and here is the download option and you just this is a direct download option you just click on this a pop-up will appear after redirecting to the main website and save that file it will be a zipped file so you are going to unzip that file or extract it and install the application simply now click on your new tab option and open the new tab and right here download grails sdk latest again you are going to click on the first link so this is the official website of grills you are going to select your version so just choose the latest one and here you go you get the pop-up for download just save this file this is also a zip file so again you need to unzip and install it is very simple as that now again open a new tab and right here download open jdk 11 java now click on the first link and scroll down below choose the java version i recommend you you should start from 11 it is too old now so i think this is the standard to begin with and here you see all the files so here is jre so this is for windows just click on this msi installer also you need jdk as well so here this is for windows and you download this again msi installer for jdk so here you need to download two files this jerry and this jdk and again extract both of them and simply install now we will head towards the next section which is how to set up the environment variables because until you don't set up these environment variables these libraries will not come in use so let's see so now you are on the main screen and click on this start button right here e and v here you will see these two things make sure you click on edit the system environment variables and not the environment variables for your account why i am saying this because if you click this for example then you will see sometimes you are not able to edit this these all are disabled so that's why i was saying just again search that and here click on the system environment variables click on environment variables and there you go now you have all the options for new edit and delete now first of all we are going to edit the path variable so we are going to search where is that and here it is click on edit here you are going to add all the bin root path of the installed software so what were the softwares we have installed it was groovy so i have written that path so this software was installed on my computer on this path under c2 user documents folder software folder groovy sdk and bin make sure you give the path till the bin folder so this is this i have added for the groovy same i have edited for the grails and here we have added jdk 
all three up to bin folder now click ok now we need to add home variables how we will add home variables so go to this new button and right here java home so i already have that variable like here it is so write the name java underscore home and provide the path where you installed your jdk and here in this case don't provide the path till bin folder but just one step above it so it was till jdk same make a variable name groovy home and provide the same path without the bin and also for grails home the path where the software was installed and without the bin folder click on ok and again apply in that case whenever you make a change and ok now in order to confirm whether the softwares were installed or not click on your command prompt application open that and we will check all of them one by one let's check for java java hyphen hyphen version okay so i have installed java version 11 good let's check for groovy g r o o v y groovy hyphen hyphen version let's see okay groovy version 4 is installed let's check for grills hyphen hyphen version okay grills is also installed okay good and one point i would like you people to know that these commands will only work after when you have configured your environment variables until you don't make your environment variables this command will, are not going to work now let's move towards our main part which is creating a project in groovy and grills to create a groovy grills project you need an ide what is an ide it is an application where we write our code we run our code and we also debug that code so i have an application called intellij idea this is an excellent ide i recommend you you should start with and this is this has a free version as well which is a community edition so you can install that there are different ides as well like eclipse and visual studio code but this one is best for groovy and grills because of its because it has a lot of features especially for grills so i am going to click on this and it is it has opened as you can see i have some projects before so it is showing here right now but for you guys i'm going to create a new one so i'm going to click on this new project button here you see there can be any option like this 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 but you need to click on this grills not grills app forge okay this makes the project from net download and then imports it but let's create using grills because this only works when you have an internet access and this works every time so click on grills choose your jdk version java version here it is 11 write your path where you have installed your grills okay so i have installed grills here i have written the part path without the bin now let it leave the way it is and click on next I'm going to give a title here for my project test project test project demo let's say okay now leave everything rest the way it is and click on create so now as you can see it has begun loading the files and as you can see some commands are going running here and there there you go and you have the gradle option you can load gradle project or skip it because it's already trying to build so here you need to wait until this process finishes this is under build it is going to 
make everything okay so once build is successful you are going to see that this play button is active now this is our actual run button of the project okay if you don't see this button after the build so you what you are going to do in that case click on this cradle click on this main project and here is this refresh button just click on the refresh button and you should probably get your play button active once it finishes the process now let's see so it has already created a lot of folders for us our main folder is this grails app main it has controllers it has domain services views and pretty much everything we need for the application and this is build.gradle file don't worry about on its name as it says build so we are going to put all the dependencies here what we need and what are dependencies these are third party libraries or code which we need in our program for example we need some code of mysql or database then we will add its dependency here and our and we will refresh this gradle build again clicking on this refresh after the build is completed our application will support that dependency function of that database or mysql which we have put here okay so this is the most basic tutorial so this is our first project which has successfully built now let's try to run it click on this run button as you can see our application have ran successfully it is up and running on the localhost 8080 and it shows our message welcome to Chris now let's see if you don't want your application to run on 8080 then what should we do okay friends now let's learn how to change the port of the application previously it was run at 8080 now let's try to change it click on grills app folder then click on this con folder this is configuration folder then we have a file application.yml double click on this to open this file here you can see some configurations already written so we are going to find these three dots okay here we have so what we are going to do hit enter and write three dots again go up right here server semicolon now hit enter write port semicolon space now write your new port number let's say 8181 and go click on this run or run this from here or from here it's same now click on run after saving this control s now within few seconds let's see in what port this application runs now okay so we got it you see 81 81 so this is it now let's try to run this application by command so what you are going to do and i'm going to remove this because this is a permanent change when you want to change the port permanently write those lines in the application.yml file now i will tell you if you want to change the port temporary so first of all let's learn how to run the application by command so click on this terminal you are on your test project demo folder right now right here grails space run hyphen app hit enter and that's it now the ide is going to handle it by itself and it is going to again execute the program within few seconds we will see okay so here it is click on this link and there you go now it is on 8080 now let's to try change the port with command but just temporary okay so click on this again press ctrl c right y enter okay so we have terminated that job now cls now to run the program on any port temporary we have this command here so i'm going to copy paste it write it here 
so it is just like the previous command but we have two suffix here hyphen port and our new port let's say again 81 81 hit enter as you can see it is trying to execute the program now and within few seconds you get it okay now click on this link and here you see now this application is running on 81 and 81 but remember friends this is a temporary change we have changed the port temporary by the command and if you want it to be permanent then write that command here in this application.yml file thank you very much guys for watching the video please like this video comment and share and if you have any doubt feel free to comment in the same video and i'm going to bring you some of the best content in my upcoming videos that you will not found anywhere even on the paid platforms like udemy and anywhere so just subscribe to my channel and yeah let's keep coding see you